My name is Anne Broderick. I'm 72 years old and I'm a psychotherapist. When I first found out about the incidence of cancer in my family, I was a teenager. My aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer, my grandmother with uterine cancer, my mother with breast cancer when she was 72, and my sister was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 59. One of my other sisters was diagnosed with melanoma, and one of my brothers died of lung cancer. Certainly there is a proclivity toward cancer in our family, particularly breast cancer. I made my physician and all my health care providers aware of this, and I was very careful to have annual mammograms even before it was apropos to do that, and did monthly breast self-exams. When I was diagnosed, it wasn't a terrible shock out of nowhere, but certainly it's a life-changing bit of news. My first step was to make an appointment with a surgeon at Stanford and get his opinion as to the treatment. It was ductal carcinoma, fairly large, just on the border, I guess, of stage two and stage three. It was also HER2 positive and estrogen receptor negative, which was a fairly virulent type of cancer. So I found out then that I would also have to have chemo and radiation. My son, who is a physician and the voice of reason, was very calming. My older daughter, she was very reserved about it. And my younger daughter, I wouldn't say she freaked out, but close to it. My husband was very, very supportive and very calm, and I found out later that he really was scared, but he never showed that to me. I had surgery in June of 2005, and I started chemo in August. I assumed that the radiation would be the typical radiation, which is five or six or seven weeks, five days a week. But my oncologist talked to me about the fact that I might be a good candidate for partial breast radiation. The reason I was so excited about partial breast radiation was that I would go twice a day for five days, and that was it. The thought of going every day, five days a week, for seven weeks, just was, it was just overwhelming. So when I was presented with this option, I just grabbed it. And I really do think it's the wave of the future. I think we'll be seeing more and more of this type of therapy. I took advantage of the services at Stanford for cancer patients, and one of them was called Healing Partners. And it's a program that pairs a cancer patient with a Healing Touch provider once a week for six months. It was so comforting and so relaxing that I think it really added to my speedy recovery from surgery and the minimal side effects I had from chemotherapy, as well as no side effects from radiation. And I have to say, the way I was treated at Stanford, it was wonderful. The technicians were wonderful, the staff was wonderful. It was as pleasant an experience as something like that could possibly be. If you're going to have cancer, this is the best place to have it, I would say.